Thanks for your time. Some very confronting images there. Uh, for your questions for you and your ministry, I mean, the Ombudsman says this is one of the most severe failures he has ever encountered. It's happened on your watch. What do you have to say? Well, uh, what happened to Malachi is horrible, and no child should ever have to experience that sort of treatment, that sort of abuse. Mm. Uh, we do have a very dark history in New Zealand of child abuse, and I wish I could stamp my fingers and make it uh, just all go away, but it, uh, it's going to take uh, so quite some time. Since I've been the minister, we have uh, implemented, we we'll started to implement the future direction plan that will address uh, a number of these issues. But look, this is, this is the history of New Zealand. It is a stain on our history. And uh, that's why I asked for this role, is to be the Minister for Children, yep. because I believe that we can turn this around. OK, but this is happening again and again and again. And in this particular case, I mean, family members followed the protocols. They were worried, but OT didn't follow the protocols. They didn't refer it to police. There was a photo. And advocates like Medipeka Rokawa Taylor saying OT is actually now complicit in murder, are they? No, I, I think that's very strong. Um, like I say, what happened to Malachi uh, sh no, should not happen to anybody. Mm. Uh, OT does need to answer to what happened. Uh, there is a practice review that is ongoing. There was a, an agreement between OT and the family that they wouldn't um, contact the family until after the Ombudsman's report, but their practice report should be out in the next couple of weeks, as well as the sy system report. We need to get to the um, bottom of what happened yeah. and where the failures were. But, but look, just in that report then by Connor, you saw that OT is not acknowledging that if they'd done their job, Malachi could well be alive. Do you agree with that? I well, mean, that's what the Ombudsman's saying as well. Yeah, and that's why we had to wait for the Ombudsman to complete his report before they uh, approach the family. Mm. That's why there is a practice report that is looking at in depth at sure. the failings. Yeah, we're we going to come to that. But, I mean, the Ombudsman again said that OT has been less than forthcoming. It seems like there's a siege mentality within OT, and that could be to the detriment of kids and kids in their care. So the practice review needs to um, happen, right? Yep. So, and that is what is happening. We're going through making sure that they look in depth at what where the failings were. So when the review is finished, that's when decisions okay. about where uh, accountability lies. I mean, all right. Let's let's. Uh, have you seen a draft of that review? Because that review has been going on since May. Now, I haven't seen a review yet because it hadn't been completed. Like I said, they, there was an agreement to wait until after the Ombudsman's report. OK. The, the last parts of that report are being finished. Sure. What about the staff involved? Have they been stood down while that review is being undertaken, just in case this happens again? So what happened immediately after Malachi's death was that uh, there was a, a look at what needed to change immediately um, at that site. Uh, after the practice review... Oranga Tamariki will be making the decisions as to what needs to go on. and if there right, So be... have those staff been stood down? Well, there, there has been supervision, uh, but we need to go through the practice review and make sure that would we you know not stand, exactly I mean, yeah, what no, happened. Would you not stand those staff down while the review is going on? Has that happened? Uh, not Can you take mind. that risk that the staff that were involved in that decision-making process you know, are not up to it, and so therefore they need to be stood down while the review is happening. Yes, so n not to my knowledge, uh, but... So they haven't, to so, your knowledge. But okay. there has been, uh, at that site, a uh, look at what needed to happen immediately yep. post that, and, and changes have been made there, as well as looking across all other sites as well. Yeah, so on that, there's the other review uh, being done by Dame Karen Patazi on that multi-agency response. While we wait for these reports, are you confident that another child is not going to suffer the same fate as Malachi? That's why there were immediate changes made um, after what happened to Malachi, uh, and that's why we have to go through the practice mm. review to make sure that the practice is, uh, is perfect. But it has, uh, been, it has been going since May, that practice review. Can you understand the frustration of not only the public, but especially the family, that this is taking so long? Malachi died last year. Yeah, and like I said, we had to wait for the Ombudsman's report to be finished, OK? Yeah. But, uh, you know, I, Oranga Tamariki uh, 
are working to improve their practice. We've put in place the Future Direction Plan, and part of it is, of that Future Direction Plan, is the social work practice, making sure that social workers do have the skills, the knowledge, the supervision to make sure that they are doing their job properly. Okay. The other part of that is, make, is the transfer of resources and decision making to communities. Communities have said they know how to look after uh, children, and so we are passing on the responsibility and decision making to communities. Uh, combined all the uh, elements of the future direction plan will keep children safer but okay. look it is not an easy job if it was easy it would have been um, achieved it, yeah I, 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 I appreciate this this is like the most difficult uh, issue to have to deal with um, I just want to go back to the nitty-gritty of this case though because it is as you say a multi-agency review going on a multi-agency failure police and corrections knew Malachi's mother was going to prison. Why was nothing done to check whether he was going to a safe environment? Well, look, yeah, there are, this is why there is the um, system review. That is why um, the, they are looking at all the agencies and the parts that they played. Because, um, as was said by the Fano, mm. everybody let Malachi down. Mm. So we need to look at what everybody's role was and how we can improve practice so that this doesn't happen again. Okay, so when a parent goes to jail, do you think OT should be notified as a matter of course? Oh, that's probably something that will come out of the system review. I mean, we want to make sure that all children are safe. Um, mm. Also, we've got to respect parents' um, view. Uh, unfortunately, sure. um, uh, Malachi's mother uh, said that she wanted her friend to look after him. Yep, but nothing, no checks were made. Okay, no checks were made in this instance. I mean, and on the last time you were on this program, you did say to us that you that there is a gap there that needs to be plugged. That was the last time you were on this program. What have you done since then? Yeah, so this is about making sure that those reviews um, are completed and then the decisions can be made with the full facts. Mm. I mean, look, it is urgent, we understand, yes. and it, you know, and it is a tragic situation. But we want to make sure that we get things right and we have to make sure that those reviews are full and they are complete. Under the law, it's not mandatory for OT to investigate a report of concern at the moment. They have discretion. Should it be mandatory? OK, so to give a scale of the um, problem, the abuse that occurs in New Zealand, every year there are 70,000 yes. reports of mm. concern. So that's averaging 200 a day. Yeah, uh, OT says they take 10 phone calls an hour on this. Th that's right, and that just highlights the scale of the problem we have in New Zealand. Uh, so... Yeah. Oranga Tamariki staff, uh, they have thousands of successes a year. We hear about the failures. And, it, and staff I was talking to yesterday said, we wish we could uh, tell more of our success stories, but everyone remembers the failures. And we've got to make sure that there are no failures because mm. we have to understand that's how they will be judged. Is that the problem? Yes, that is how they will be judged because, you know, this is life and death of our most vulnerable. That's right. Is this the problem? Do you need to put more resources into OT? If they're taking 10 phone calls an hour about reports of concern, and they said last year they decided to investigate half of those. I mean, these are unsafe workloads that staff are striking over. Is this where you are falling down on the job in terms of resourcing these people? Well, there are 50,000 children and their whānau every year that don't go into care and don't need to go any further because Oranga Tamariki keeps them safe. So we're getting down to, you know, those really, uh, you know, the, the worst cases. Mm. And Oranga Tamariki does a great job in looking after many of them. Sadly, we are, well, they are judged on the one or two failures. And you are and judged too, you are the Children's correct. Minister. Correct, and like I said, I asked for this job because I believe I can make a difference. It is not easy, it is difficult. We are dealing with um, you know, some yeah. of the worst cases, but Oranga Tamariki, the changes that are being implemented are starting to make you a say that You say that they're making a lot of wins that we don't hear about, OK. But if you end up in OT care, and this is their own statistics, they can't guarantee a child's safety. In the year to June 21, 8% of children in care were harmed. This is not the Malachi's who didn't make it into care. These are the ones that did make it into care. Are you still committed to keeping the agency that has 8% of its children harmed under care? Uh, so Oranga Tamariki does a good job for many children. We have to make sure all children are, are looked after. Now, people have said to me, you just need to burn the agency to the ground. And I say, mm. OK, so what then? What replaces it? There has to be a transition from what we have into uh, a better you know, 